you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Ms. Tavender, for being here today. Um, I want to go back to what Dr. Price said. This really is about patients. And as for over 40 years, um, I certainly know and have heard from my patients over the years about pre-existing conditions. And I do think that we probably could have fixed that without having a total government takeover, as we're seeing here. It's not about politics, it's about patients. Um, and I want to go to something from my state. Since the October 1st launch date, I've received overwhelming number of stories from my constituents with concerns about the health care law. In fact, in my own hometown newspaper, the Tennessean, they reported that more than 28,000 Tennesseans are now losing access to the state-sponsored insurance program which covered those with pre-existing conditions, uh, seniors, children, and small businesses. And one small business owner, Greg, from my district in Fairfield Glade, shared this story with me, and I want to share it with the committee. Diane, I operate a small painting business and was very happy with the Cover Tennessee program for small businesses and their employees. It had a small copay and covered up to $25,000 each year. It covered 12 doctor's visits and an annual physical at a reasonable cost. And this program is being canceled effective January 2014 because it does not meet the minimum requirements of Obamacare. This directly co contradicts the promise made by uh, President Obama that we could keep our existing programs. They had affordable health care that they liked, but they didn't get to keep that. And I ask, is this right, or is this just for this group of people? These 28,000 citizens of Tennessee are now forced to find new coverage plans on the health care website that doesn't work. So I think when we talk about fairness and justice, we've got to remember there are people out there that this is not fair and this is not just for. But let me turn to an, another piece, and that is the implementation. We understand that the contractors who made the website did their own unit testing. Um, but CMS was responsible for the end-to-end -end testing uh, or the systems integrated testing, making sure that each unit worked properly with the next unit. Now, that testing failed, and every contractor has said that CMS made that decision to move forward with the launching of the website. And you claim that you didn't know that there were surge problems with the website. But CMS is the project manager on this, and CMS called the shots. So either there was incompetent management on your part or CMS's part, those that you work with, or you ignored those fundamental concepts that were taken into account when the website of this complexity and size was built. Um, I want to know if, I want to know why, if sufficient systems integrated testing was um, not conducted and you made the decision to move forward with the website. So was there a, a systems integration testing that was actually done? So the, the testing was actually done, we started testing almost immediately. It was kind of continuous testing. I think what you're asking is did we do the testing across the hub and all the agencies? And the That's answer right. to that is yes. And so that was done. And then the question inside the FFM, did we do end-to-end -end testing in the FFM? And the answer to that is yes, that was done. Okay, so those tests were done, um, stress tests, load tests, how you accounted for and tested for peak hours. Yes. So stress tests and load testing were done. In retrospect, the volume was we were projecting about three times the volume that we ever saw on the Medicare Part D experience um, because we were dealing with a much smaller population. So in the first few hours of the site, it had probably five times the volume that we ever projected. So in retrospect, we could have done more about load testing. All right. um, Mr. I'm Chairman, have I, to. I want to know if we can get a copy of those tests so that we can actually see what was done. If you could make those uh, results available to the committee, we'd appreciate Thank it. Thank you.